Hello, it has been a while. Um, Ralphie and I are hanging out in the bus, having a fire, and I am figuring out seatbelts. So what I'm going to do, there's a gap down at the base of the uh, of the benches that fold down, and I'm basically just poking the, uh, the seatbelt out underneath them. And then on the back here is a stud that all of the benches are anchored to. So I am picking one of the permanent boards that has one of these screws in it, and I'm going to put a bolt in to bolt this down to the stud. So I'll need a drill and my ratchets, but that should really be easy peasy. Let's give it a shot. So lucky me, I just so happen to have a whole bunch of lag screws left over from when we did the um, the bed lift install. Uh, and a lot of these are plenty big to handle the, uh, the seat belts. The 3 8 inch lag screws, they're not quite as beefy as these coarse bolts that came with the um, seat belts, but these also can't go into wood. They need to go into metal. This should not go anywhere once they are fully installed. And install should be pretty easy if I do this right. Okay, so this is the first one. I drilled a hole and I just kind of put the bolt into the hole. And actually I gotta take it out because I need a washer. This is a locking bolt washer. So you put that on the bolt. Right there. Find the hole. Stick it in. And now I'm going to ratchet it in. All right, so I got the one side in. I'm going to pick this up a little bit. Give it a tug. That seems like a pretty solid seatbelt attachment there. It doesn't get in the way of the drawer, so I think that's good. So the second one uh, landed right on a brad nail and basically extracted it in pieces as I was drilling down. But that's okay because we're going to be putting a bolt in there in its place, so it's actually going to be stronger. Um, just wish I had the forethought to do this way back in the day. So, all right, before we go much further. I'm going to give the seatbelt a test. Okay, so I've got one seatbelt in and I put the cushions in place. So it looks like that's how it's always been meant to it's always been meant to be. Uh, so now I'm going to put it on, make sure that it's got enough lap space. All right. So I've got my seatbelt on and it fits. Everything feels good. I've even got some extra space so I can gain some weight. And I would still be able to strap myself in. I also can't get up. It feels very secure. So this is a winning strategy, at least for this bench. I might have to figure out something a little bit different for the other bench, but I'm sure we can do it. Um, so I'm going to continue along and keep installing seatbelts. All right, so I'm just moving right along. It looks like I'm going to be able to put four on each side. Um, have lots of space in between. Actually, this looks like one, two, three, four, five. So ten altogether. One, two, three, four, five. This one, because of where its placement was, I had two attached on the same bolt, but I think that should be fine. Um, 
could probably do that to cram more people in if I really wanted to, but uh, this is good for now. I think that 10 seat belts is going to be plenty. Right, Ralphie? Yeah. All right, so I got five seat belts in on one side and they're pretty solid. So five legal passengers can sit on that bench. So now I gotta go to the other one. And it's built a little differently, so this might work out a little differently. All right, so it's a little bit different for the other bench because this bench has support system, this support system built into the backs of the bench itself. Also, the hinges are a little bit he more heavy duty and there's more of them, so they kind of get in the way of where I can put the seat belts. So this is kind of like a rough layout of where I can screw the seat belts in. But other than that, it's pretty much the same. We've got one solid board back there that you can see there's some screws already in it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be connecting to. Uh, I might actually remove the screw that's there and then put, if there is a screw in the spot where I want a bolt, and then put a bolt in. Uh, so that's what we're going to have to do. And then we're going to work around the hinge here. Um, this is a little bit of a tough spot because the hinge is like in the perfect spot where the the belt can go, but the belt has to go around the hinge. So we'll figure it out. All right. So I have to remove all the hinges on this door or on this uh, seat back because the gap between that the hinge goes through is too narrow for this part of the, of the belt to come through, this part that loops back on itself. Once it's through, it's fine, but this is too thick. So I'm basically gonna remove the whole thing, pull it forward, put all the, the seat belts in, and then reattach it. Which is a bit of a pain in the ass, but it's got to be done. All right, so the seat belts had to be kind of doubled up on bolts to make room so that they would fit between the the hinges and the supports going down. So I think it should work. This part's a little bit screwed up because uh, I was going to put the bolt in that hole that you see drilled right there, but unfortunately, that's right where this support lands, so since the bolt sticks up out of the, it's not flush with the board, uh, I had to move it, so only a skinny person can sit right there, or it'll just be a little bit of an uncomfortable seat belt. But, let's, uh, I'm gonna fold this up. I have to move this over because the, uh, the, the leg support is in line with one of these supports for the back so it needs to be moved over a little bit so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't stop the back from folding up so that should be okay and now we'll just pull this up oh boy what's going on oh, whoops and there we have five more seat belts all right so i'm going to latch this down put the cushions on and then we'll try these seat belts too. All right, so there we have it. Five seat belts. So you can lengthen them so that somebody can actually sit there because that's a little loop and let's give it a shot. What do you think, Ralphie? Pretty good. I'm gonna go try that wonky one that's on the other on the other end over there. So even this one's okay. It just, uh, there's a little bit of space over here, but you can kind of still scoot that way. It feels like you're getting tugged a little bit to the side, but I can always just, there, loosen it up a little bit and I'm fine. Also feels like it will hold my weight if the bus starts to roll, do barrel rolls. Right, buddy? Seatbelt, you win. Safety first, Ralph, Ralph. 